Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Hippo playing cards from Home Run Games. All right, so what is this? What is this deck? Uh, currently, right now, Magnificent and Hippo playing cards are both on Kickstarter. And it's one single campaign. They're both joined together. So if you want either one of these decks, you can support the campaign. You can buy one deck or two or as many as you like. Uh, you can mix and match however you want. And uh, like I said, it's already funded. Okay, so that it's already been it's already been supported. And uh, as far as I know, the decks are already printed as well. So if you head on down there and support this, I would think that you would get your decks pretty soon. You would get your decks pretty soon. And when you do support Kickstarter uh, campaigns like this, usually this is the time when the decks are the cheapest. Sometimes it's the only time they're available. Uh, if there are limited runs, they will sell out. So I would even say before this review is over, uh, if this is something you want, I would definitely head down there and give them your support today uh, before they're all gone. The Tuck Ace is all done in this kind of denim blue and vintage white. It's kind of an off-white. It's not really a bright white. The front of the Tuck Ace is number 707, and then you have the Hippo logo there. Uh, does say Hippo's Playing Cards, Freedom Playing Card Company. Uh, one side says 707 Hippos playing card, and the other side says classic finish. The bottom has some ad copy, including a custom UPC, and the top says 707 Hippos. The tongue flap is a vintage old school tongue flap that Home Run Games is famous for. They do this on a lot of their decks, and it's really cool. Um, it's elongated, it tucks into this little uh, slit on the tuck, and then there's a custom tuck seal. Be very careful when you open your deck. Um, there's people that cut this off by accident or they tear the tuck case. I went over mine with a serrated knife uh, very carefully several times to kind of cut this free. Uh, the, the back design says Hippos number 707 playing cards and you have an exploded ace pip there. The inside of the tuck lining is all done in little tiny hippos, which is really cool. And then the two tiny tongue flaps. Uh, one's a baseball, which is the Home Run Games logo, and the other one says 707. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design is very beautiful, very traditional looking it's mostly made up of vine work and then you have a hippo's head in all four corners uh, you have a nice uh, medium sized poker border and one single color uh, on the back which I think makes this deck perfect for gameplay and collectability all right so the magnificent and hippos playing cards are a new line of luxury decks from home run games they're printed by their own printing partner freedom playing card company and they use the finest German casino grade linen paper they have an incredible dream finish that makes them a delight to handle and I'll show you uh, a little bit of what they feel like. Okay, as far as the cards go, I'm gonna use the Magnificent deck uh, just for demonstration purposes. And I don't normally do this in a, de in a deck review, but you know, this cardstock isn't uh, familiar to us. And so I just wanna, wanna give you some reassurances about how it feels. Um, it has very smooth edges, okay? Very smooth corners as well. Uh, it has a cold, I don't know how, to, how, else, how else to describe this. It has a cold feeling stock. So, um, but it does, it does have really smooth uh, feel on the sides. Um, when I do like a, like a little drop like this with bicycle cards, I did that slow so I, didn't drop, so I wouldn't drop them. Um, the, on bicycle cards, they kind of fall a little faster. This stock falls a little slower, like they are sticking together a little bit but not a lot. This is, this, is, this is not a clumping deck, okay? This does not feel like a clumping deck, okay? If I spring these cards, you see, there's actually a lot of action on these. They do spring very well. And so, I know it's not really a spring, but I'm just, <coughs> just telling you, okay? They do uh, run from one hand to the other very well. And if I just do like, you know, if I was gonna say pick a card, pick a card, they do move, okay? I can spread through like this, like an up jog one. I mean, they do have a little bit of, they're very, they do have some snap to them. They do hold their shape. They do spring back. Um, I like it. I do like this. Um, kind of reminds me of MPC. Not when MPC first started, but like where MPC is now, like where Make Playing Cards is now. So it's kind of in that area. Way better than anything coming out of, of China. 
Okay, so uh, I, I like it. And I would say if you're in the market for these cards, you're probably not thinking you're going to use them for flourishing or cardistry anyway. Like this is really uh, a collector's deck, a designer deck. So I would think this only appeals to people that uh, collect cards or maybe just use, use cards for gameplay. All right, so this is a good gameplay deck and uh, a good collector's deck for certain. And I like the stock. I don't think it's bad at all. Now, because this is a printed deck, I did feel comfortable measuring them for you. And so 10 hippos in the caliper come to 2.91. It's the same thickness as the revolvers, the studs, and the gold standard deck. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of extra cards. They're all very interesting. Um, one of which is just a red and black card that has the hippo logo in the center, and then it's surrounded by the different pips. Um, one of them is an ad card for home run games. One is a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. And then you're gonna get a single joker card which just simply says joker uh, in a really big exploded font and then has a hippo in the center with his mouth open your ace of spades is very vintage very uh, beautiful looking it is a banner uh, in a wreath also with the ace pip it says playing cards and hippos at the top freedom playing cards company at the bottom at number 707 your pips and indice cards are all going to have a very familiar look very familiar layout uh, reds are reds blacks are blacks uh, you have a very thick font up in the corner that's very easy to read your pips uh, have all been redone they're not traditional but they just have a very vintage look to them the the courts as well have a very vintage look to them. They, they're gonna look more like Arco courts. They're not gonna look like other courts in your collection right away, but I don't think you'll see anything out of you know, whack with them. There's you know, familiar clothing, familiar weapons, familiar coloring, everything's gonna be what you'd expect. Uh, the deck just has a very vintage look, very collectible look uh, that I like a lot. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the Hippos playing cards from Home Run Games. I wanna thank Home Run Games for allowing me to have this deck so that I can do the review for you. And like I said, if you like this deck, I would highly recommend recommend you head on down to Kickstarter and give them your support today. Thanks. Bye.